Wind Orchestra 4 are performing court festival to celebrate the Platinum Jubilee. Their second piece is Chant and Tribal Dance, conducted by Mr. Glenn Robinson. Please welcome their first director to the stage, Miss Nicole Turner.
Thank you, Wind Orchestra 4, for the entertaining performance. The next item in the program is the Rapiano String Orchestra. This orchestra is made up of young string players from years 7 to 10, totaling 49 members. We rehearse every Friday morning before school under the direction of Jessica Daniel and Crystal Hawksworth. Rapiano Strings have been working hard to prepare two pieces for tonight's concert. Our rehearsal schedule has been somewhat disrupted as during all of term one, we had to rehearse the orchestra in two halves because of COVID-19 safety protocols. We were so relieved to finally rehearse together as a full orchestra at the start of this term. Our first piece is Follow the Drinking Gourd, arranged by Carrie Lane Grizel. This piece has been tricky to prepare as we have had to work hard on our bowing where we play on the bow and maintaining a secure and steady pulse. Our second piece is A Blaze by Chris Bernatus. At the end of the score, the composer has used the word aggressively to remind the players of the mood they need to create when performing this piece. Let's see if we are successful. Please welcome our director to the stage, Mrs. Crystal Hawksworth.
evening. My name is Grace and I play the alto sax in the Ellingtons. And my name is Kate. I play the tenor sax, which is a bigger, better version of the instrument. Well, I'm not sure about that, Kate. You know Charlie Parker was an alto saxophonist, and so if it was good enough for him, I think it's good enough for me. Charlie Parker? Boy, you've got a long way to go, Grace. But that solo you played in rehearsal the other day was pretty swinging. You know, you should really take more solos in band because I think you sound great. Thanks, Kate. I'll definitely try to do that, and I'll be putting my hand up if a solo opportunity is offered. The Ellingtons started this semester with the promise of a jazz camp, which morphed into a jazz incursion thanks to COVID. The incursion was a long day of playing that included workshops with some wonderful jazz educators, such as Jeremy Gregg, Gemma Farrell and Trisk, who entertained us with a wonderful performance to conclude the day. It really fired us up. We were lucky that we were able to rehearse through Term 1 quite normally with COVID protocols except for bell covers and spacing out a bit more, but this term has been quite different. Most of us have had COVID and have risked rehearsals, which has no doubt been frustrating for Mr B. That's right, Kate. And don't forget that our lead saxophonist has gone to Japan for a term and we lost our pianist and guitarist from the rhythm section. So tonight we are unleashing Luca, who has joined the band on piano, and Elsie, who is filling in for Alex. The first piece we will play for you is Beers for Blues, which features Luca in the introduction and Elsie and Jai as soloists. The second tune we will play is Until I Met You, Corner Pocket, and will feature a short trumpet solo from Brandon. It was written by Basie's guitarist, Freddie Green, and recorded by the Count Basie Band as Corner Pocket, but was then recorded later by Manhattan Transfer under the name Until I Met You. Thanks for the info, Kate. I thought it was a strange name. Both of these charts are in your typical Basie swing. We hope you enjoy our performance.
parents, guardians and significant others. Up next we have the finale of this evening's concert, the Matildas and the Larrikins. The year so far has been somewhat of a challenge for our choirs here at Churchlands. Covid protocols had us rehearsing, wearing masks, social distancing, rehearsing in only our largest venues, limiting our rehearsal sizes to 32 students at a time, coming to rehearsals on rotation and then trying to remember was it choir week or sleep-in week? Yes, that's right, Sophia. The choir teachers created elaborate rehearsal schedules to ensure that whatever happened, we would keep the choir cogs turning no matter what. Due to the restrictions in numbers, we've only put the whole choir together for the first time in six weeks ago. Until then, trying to rehearse our parts separately and not having heard how all the parts fit together has made it a slow progress process to learn our repertoire. Despite the challenges, you can see the Matildas have now assembled and are ready to perform We Will by Jim Papoulis. This song uses both English and Swahili to send the message that we must send the best part of ourselves into the future. We'll move on, we'll grow stronger. We will sing another song. We will dream of a promise that will bring a brighter day. The Larrikins and Miss Claire Chesney will then join us on stage to perform Here You Lie Side by Side by Australian composer Mark Putty. This piece was written to commemorate the centenary of the Anzac forces landing at Gallipoli on April 25, 1915. Its simple melancholy style can serve as a memorial to all who have sacrificed much in wars throughout the ages. Please welcome our first director for the evening, Mrs. Ursula Gregg, to the stage.
brings us to the end of this evening's Junior Concert 2. We do hope that we see you at Perth Concert Hall on Monday, June 27th for our celebration of 50 years of music at Churchland Senior High School. Many thanks for our stage crew and parent helpers tonight. We couldn't do it without you. Drive safely and good night. <laughs>